A talk from the heart, a talk from the heart, a talk from the heart, a talk from the heart. So today we're going to talk about um, women. We're going to talk about women and how women are treated in life. And we're going to talk about uh, cheerleading and we're going to talk about uh, just uh, hamburgers. <laughs> and we're going to talk about just women in general and, and one woman, you know. So women are the other sex. I'm a man. There's the women. <laughs> you know, they're important. <laughs> We've had a bunch of male presidents. I think I'm going to vote for Hillary just for the mere fact that she's a woman. <laughs> No, of course not. <laughs> to make a statement. Um, but maybe, I don't know. But I'm going to vote her for her because if she has the qualifications to be able to do the job, that, you know, if she proves to me that she can step it up a notch, you know, come on, Hillary. I've given you some notes. <laughs> but um, back to uh, women. I think about if I had a daughter. If I had a daughter, I would encourage her not to do cheerleading because there's these mini skirts and they're prancing around and getting men excited for them to head concussions. And that's just my personal belief. I'm not a fan of football just because of the head injury. If it were robots doing it, maybe, and the robots could be fixed, then I'd be down with it. But if it's humans being affected in a way that they can't be healed again, there's some serious concerns for me, and there always have been, so I just kind of stay away from that. And having women being used as a, let's face it, cheerleaders are sexual symbols. They are. <laughs> you know, I mean, if, if they weren't, we'd have them dressed up in like full on different kinds of outfits, and it would be equally for men and women. But it isn't because they're, you know, it's, and that's, it's start at high school level. That's just, that's what bothers me personally, me personally. Um, that's just, I mean, everybody has the freedom to do whatever they want, but I just think that if I had a daughter, I would just, and she has the freedom to make whatever choices she wants to make, but at the same time, I can say, hey, that one, that's, <laughs> I don't know about that. Think about what you're saying to humanity. At the same time, I'm a huge fan of Sailor Moon, which is, they run around in these skimpy skirts and they fight crime and they save the earth. So what's the context of that and that discussion? I think that in um, uh, Grace Randolph, amazing human being, uh, has uh, kind of gathered the discussion about the role of women in comic books and how they're portrayed. Uh, Catwoman, most notably, who can't seem to keep her zipper up. <laughs> you know, how does that? How does it work? <laughs> <laughs> is it super glued in there? I don't know. But, um, you know, so there's those elements to it. And um, just having that discussion in general. So when we look at uh, TLC programming and we look at what's going on there, um, and, you know, these girls, these, these to made look like dolls, it really questions how we're going about this. Um, and the hamburger commercials, oh, but, oh, hamburgers. So Carl's Jr. has these ads where they basically use sex to sell their hamburgers. And that's all the freedom, all the power to you. And you say that it's working. Kudos to that. I'm not going to eat there because of those ads, <laughs> because you're sexualizing women. And I think even the conversation about Bruce Jenner and how, why did they have Bruce Jenner on the cover, but they didn't have Chaz Bono on the cover? What is the conversation about that? Uh, what does that mean for humanity? Why did Vogue chose to go that route rather than the other route? And I don't know. Maybe they both did have Chaz Bono on the cover. Maybe did they? I don't know. I could be totally like, yeah, we did. Shut up. And they're like, all right, sorry. <laughs> just nobody cared. <laughs> you know? Uh, so it's just about having that discussion. And so what do you think as a parent? You know, what do you think about cheerleading? What do you think about, uh, hamburgers as a father as a mother you know what do you think about dolls what do you think about you know just that whole conversation what about comic books wonder woman what are your concerns about wonder woman you know is is she's going to be you know i think that there's certain iconic characters that we were like xena for instance she ran around in a loincloth and she kicked butt so and she still resonates for people i mean you know i think there's certain 
we need to be a little bit more creative in empowering our daughters to know, especially the whole like 72 cents on the dollar. I gotta go. That's my ringer. Take care.